Hi all, I am Muhammad Ali Haji Abu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So in this video, we discuss about API Gateway Lambda Authorizers. In our previous videos, we have discussed how can we create a Lambda function and how can we connect a API Gateway with the Lambda functions and all those things. So here, we discuss about if somebody calls our API Gateway, our API Gateway get call or post call any, any call, so we have to ensure that it has a proper authorizer. So we have to check and ensure that we have to validate the token and we have to ensure that okay this particular call is valid then we can pass it to the our final lambda function. So that is what we are going to discuss in this video. So here I have opened the official AWS documentation okay so here they are saying that a lambda authorizer is formally known as custom authorizer is a API gateway feature that uses a lambda function to control access to your API so here when we come down here we have a architecture diagram here there is a auth workflow they have written here so here we will have a client call okay then the client is actually calling the api gateway okay then api gateway is internally calling a lambda auth function okay we are calling a lambda auth function and the verification will be done here then a principal and the principal and the policy will be returned from the lambda function then that is further analyzed then only it will call to the our destination lambda functions or like ec2 instances or like any access okay that is the basic workflow so we will try to demonstrate this particular workflow okay so for that first we can create a destination lambda function so let me go to the aws console here so this is we already discussed how can we create a lambda functions my get lambda function okay i'm going to select token 3.8 okay. the rest of things are set it as default okay click on create okay it may take like three to four seconds so i'm waiting to complete the creation okay this is done So here, hello from, from Lambda. Now we can create a API gateway. So here I am in, so this is, we already discussed how can we get the API gateway menu. You can just go here and in the search box, we can just type API gateway. Yeah, it's there. Just open it. Then here we can, look into for the time being we can look into the rest api just click on the rest api okay then new api here we can give my api then rest of things are we have setting as a default just click on create api so here we will get a resource click on the action click on create method just select a get okay done so here integration type is lambda you can select this needed otherwise let me select my my get lambda function okay just click on it okay so just deploy it first we have to deploy the stage i'm clicking on the stage name then deploying okay so this is done okay see hello from lambda so this is working perfectly now we need to implement the authorizes part so for that you can see here we have a menu called authorizes so this is the place where we create a new authorizer okay so before that we can just go to the our uh, documentation area okay, okay. 
here they are discussing about how can we create a token based lambda authorizer function so we can follow the same steps okay go to the lambda console choose a create function then choose author from scratch enter the name and the creative function okay so once the function is created okay once the function is created for example so this is actually written in node.js we, we have to write the similar code in the python so i have already the code in hand i have got it from the medium so here what we are we are sending a authorization token in the event bar okay and we are checking if the token is allowed okay then only we will allow the particular call okay so here we have given the case allow so once that is there once the token is allow we will call the a callback function and here we are generating the policy if the case is dna if the the value in the authorization token is dna then also like we are calling the callback function and we are sending the status as dna and if it is unauthorized we will call we will be return a unauthorized callback function so here what we are actually doing we are generating a policy we are generating a policy so here in the architecture we can see that we what 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 we need to return from the lambda auth function we have to return the principle and the policy from the lambda auth function okay that is what we are building here okay we are taking the principle id from here and uh, all the version information we have here okay then we are creating a auth response context okay then returning the auth response from here okay that is what happening in this particular lambda function so we have to write a similar python function okay so we can just start writing that we can go to the functions and we can do a create function here i can write my auth lambda so i'm going to select python 3.8 then just create function okay so as usual it may take three to four seconds yep it's done so as i mentioned like i have the code ready with me okay let me copy and paste the code here so this is the code this is the code i have written got it from the medium so this is actually written by suminda okay here as we saw in the uh, node.js function what we are doing is that we are taking the token from here okay and we are checking the token is allowed okay see the authorization token is allowed if this is allowed we will do the allow method we will call the policy allow method otherwise we will deny all the method okay then we will be building the policy so we have the HTTP verb that is allowed here so this is the class auth policy class and here here we will be initiating with the account id and all those information okay so here when we come down so these functions they are using when we come down you can see that we are building the we are building the policy information and we are returning this policy information back to the api gateway okay so let me deploy this one okay so this is this deployed okay our auth lambda function is deployed now let me go to the api gateway so in api gateway come here okay this is the authorizer then click on create new authorizer here give some name here lambda auth okay and uh, I have to select the lambda function. So my lambda function is my auth lambda. My auth. My auth. 
not coming here just let me refresh it create my lambda os here my os lambda okay we can make it blank here then just type the token token i will give as a authorization token okay in the token here token validation see just read it if defined api gateway can attempt to validate the incoming token using a regular expression before the lambda function is invoked okay so here we can give some kind of a regular expression okay so that it will not go to the authorizer okay so authorizer is getting enabled now just click on create grant and create the permissions okay so this is done now just click on the test in the test just give allow okay see we are getting the policy okay this is what we are building there okay now let me give us a dna test is see the effect is denied let me give the blank one see this is unauthorized okay now we have everything is ready now we can we can test our url okay see still we are able to access the function right hello from lambda so what we need to do first just click on this function okay come to the resources and click on the get function then click on the method request just click on the method request here we have a authorization setting is there just click on it okay here it should be displaying so before that uh, we have the authorizer here okay let me let me deploy it first we deploy it so i have deployed it okay still it's working now come to the resources click on get come here okay then settings here somehow we are not getting the authorizer part here we have everything is ready so let me set this all here Then we have deployed hello state. Okay, we have the authorizer. Test the authorizer again. Still, this small letter hello. Yeah, it's working. Here we don't need to do anything. Okay, I'm here in staging. Just come here. So it may take some time. Okay. So let me check it again. Yes. Yeah. It's actually taking some time. Okay. Here we got the lambda os. So I have selected that one. Okay. Now deploy it. now deploy the api okay deploy the api to production now uh, still working it may take some time still working still working okay it's still actually for me like it took when i tried it took like two to three minutes okay still this deployment is in progress let's double check it we have here okay we have selected the lambda os and it's here see 
it is unauthorized because we are not passing any authorization token okay this is unauthorized okay now now let me take a postman here okay just let me copy this one okay i am in postman okay now authorization token let me add that authorization maybe in header i can add a authorization key not authorization it is authorization key so let me have it here authorization token okay it's authorization token let me give allow just send it see i'm getting hello from lambda now just give some empty there see this is giving like unauthorized let me give like maybe anything user is not authorized to access this resource with an explicit d name okay so this is the message that we are getting from the api gateway okay i hope this is clear to you guys i think that is all about in this video thank you very much thank you very much watching my video okay please do like or subscribe have a nice day